No. Just missed it. There's a metal stud right there. One of the scariest things you can ever do is just pick a spot on a wall and start drilling because you just never know what's back behind there. So how can you be 100% sure that no matter where you hit with a hammer or where you drill a hole, whether it's to hang a picture or whether to hang a floating shelf or whatever, how can you know that that's a safe space to drill or to punch a hole without damaging a pipe or an electrical wire or something else inside the wall, ductwork, whatever. There's a great tool for that. Let's talk about it. Okay, first off, hi, welcome back to the Real Life Rodells. It's been a hot minute. If you are following us on Instagram, you're not at all surprised about what's going on with our lives because you followed us for the last several years. Uh, 22.6 thousand followers on Instagram. Whereas over here, I think we have 303 followers on YouTube. <laughs> so uh, if you want uh, daily updates as to what kind of projects we're working on, what's going on with Janet and the kids and how our family is holding together, check us out on Instagram. Follow us there. It's The Real Life Riddells. We're also on TikTok. We're on Facebook. All over the place. All right. So we are still in the middle of finishing out and renovating our 620 square foot workshop. You can see we've got insulation in pretty much all the walls. We still haven't insulated the ceiling. We've got a lot of different projects going on. So we've rebuilt the whole thing. This last February, we literally leveled the entire floor, redid the joist system over in this area, rebuilt the walls, redid the entire ceiling. So we've got a massive beam that comes through here and holds it all up. It's metal roofing on top with synthetic underlayment. Whole thing is airtight, sealed, insulated. We are working on putting reclaimed lumber on this wall all the way up. Let me kind of explain what we're doing there. So this is the Wallabot. You might've seen videos of this online. It basically takes your phone and turns it into a radar where it's like x-ray vision. You can see through the wall and you can see where there are metal studs, where there's wood studs, it'll show you where there's a pipe or an electrical wire, all this kind of thing. So we're gonna run it through some tests, but more than that, we're also gonna test it on this reclaimed lumber below here. And we're gonna see how well this thing works and if it's worth it. So this is the Wallabot DIY 2M. Now, a lot of people make the mistake when they see the reels or the videos about these things, they always see it where it's attached to the back of the phone. And so they just assume it's just an app. No, this is it. So that's the back of it right there. Uh, originally they set out, they wanted to be able to have a handheld device so that they could do mammograms to detect breast cancer. How appropriate that this is October when we're filming this, it's breast cancer awareness month. But this has then kind of evolved. They realized that that same radar technology could be used on sheetrock and uh, wood and flat smooth wood. You can see right here, this is reclaimed lumber. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this reacts on this. Uh, but you can see we've got kind of our mock-up already here. This is a wall inside of our workshop. We're working to close it up. We have four by four uh, studs in between our normal studs so that we can drill into this wall and we're gonna put metal pipes in and that'll be our lumber storage. So we're gonna see if the Wallabot does well on this reclaimed wood. I don't think it'll do well with different thicknesses because these are different types of wood but we'll see. I do think it's gonna do exceptional on the sheetrock. And I do think it'll do exceptional if we calibrate it to one board and stay on one board. When you fire up the app and connect this, it's got a button on the bottom. It starts out blue, when it's connected, it turns green. It's asking me to calibrate. And you have to calibrate it every time you use it because you may be using quarter inch sheetrock, you may be using half inch, you may be using five eighths. So we're gonna calibrate this real quick and then we'll go along and we'll see how well it does at distinguishing between these different types of materials you see that we put in this wall. Here we go. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is calibrate this. It says Wallabot will learn about your wall, calibrate on each new wall, tap start. To start, tap on calibrate, whatever. Calibration completed. Let's start a scan. So, now it gets confused if I just barely move it, it thinks it's a stud. But it is, what, an inch and a half PVC pipe. So let's see if it can find this wire. 
Yeah, it does. Pipe wire, so you can follow it up. Okay, there's a metal stud right here next to a wooden stud. So it recognizes the metal stud. And then it recognizes the wood stud. Now it gets a little confused right there in the gap. But it recognizes that as a metal stud. We'll continue on over here. We'll see if it catches the PEX or this EMT. So it is not. Oh, there we go. It's missing that PEX. And it's entirely possible it's missing it because it's just hollow, but I don't know. Let's see if it gets the EMT. Yes, it calls it a metal stud or a pipe or a wire, but it does catch it. And then there's another PVC pipe right there. It thinks it's a stud, but not, and then there's the end of our wall right there. So, now we're going to try this with the wall about on wood. So let's see how it does. So right there is a stud. It does recognize the stud. It does recognize the PVC. It calls it a stud, but it doesn't matter. It still sees it. The wire. It's registering the metal stud. It thinks it's, again, a pipe or wire. It thinks it's EMT. There's a stud. Over here, this is the PEX. Now it still does not recognize the PEX. EMT, it does see the EMT. Should see another PVC pipe, which it thinks is a stud. And then our last four by four over here. All right. So this down here, this is almost five quarter inches thick. So the fact that the Wallabot is seeing through that is impressive. Now I am concerned that it didn't register the PEX, but it could just be that it's not a full run of it. It could be that it doesn't have any water in it whatsoever. And so something about it, something about the size of this just being half inch PEX is throwing that off. So for me, I'm impressed. I did not think that it was gonna work through the wood. But it worked just as well not slightly less not better it worked just as well through solid wood as it did through this half inch sheetrock but i know that this is literally touching the back of the sheetrock here so that is of concern but then again no stud finder is going to find that either and it's certainly not going to distinguish between whether it's a pipe emt wire or pvc anywhere like that um I do like that it distinguishes that this is metal, that this is metal, and it knows what wood is. It does tend to be confused about the PVC, whether or not it is PVC or whether it's a wood stud, but you still know it's there. And so um, if I am remodeling a home and I need to attach something, I'm gonna find where the stud spacing is, and I'm looking for that 16 inch on center. And so if suddenly there's something that shows up saying it's a stud and it doesn't fall into that 16 inches on center, I'm not gonna assume that's a stud. I'm gonna assume that's a pipe or something else. One of the things that Wallabot does offer is the, it's called the wall attach. And it is a set of magnetic rings. So there's actually two of them there. There's a larger one that mounts right over this front circle of your Wallabot. And then there's a smaller one on the back side of this. So in this case, the red goes to the Wallabot, the white goes to the back of your phone. But this is my wife's phone, so I'm not gonna attach something to it because I like living. So one thing to keep in mind though, when you're using this, if you want to attach that magnetic mount, the wall attach, so that you can just put your phone and the Wallabot together like that, what I would recommend doing is putting both rings on here, pulling off that little protective 
piece of paper, lining this up with a stud so that you know exactly where it is. And before you attach this, line this up so that it's centered right on that stud. So that when you snap it on here and you apply that magnetic ring to the back of this, it's lined up perfectly. Because this thing is gonna be centered on the stud, but if you put this on even slightly off center, you're gonna be marking things half an inch to an inch away from where they actually are. So like I said, I would put those two rings on the wallabot, put it up against the wall, and then apply it to this so that you know that it's centered so that you could make marks based on what you see on the screen. So just keep that in mind. All right, so let's talk about the Wallabot DIY. Now this is the Wallabot DIY 2M. Um, the fine people over at Wallabot actually sent this over to us, asked if we would be willing to try the product out and just kind of tell them what we thought about it. And they wanted us to give our followers through TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and here on YouTube a chance to see our thoughts on it. We tend to be very honest with our products. Uh, we tend to give them a good evaluation. I've posted many a reel where I've held up a product that went viral online and said, this is a piece of crap. I don't understand if these people really tried it or if they were just paid to say it's a good product. So let's talk about the Wallabot and whether I think it's a good investment or not. Here we go. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna say about this is I do think this is an exceptional piece of material. I think it's a great tool to have in your uh, arsenal. I think the technology is incredible. I think it's still being refined. There are different versions of this Wallabot. There's one where you can do the raw radar data. Again, this is the DIY 2M. I will say the only thing that concerned me is for me, for whatever reason in this wall out here with reclaimed lumber and sheetrock over it, it didn't see the pecs. I don't know why, but I will admit that that seems to be a concern. Uh, but as far as being able to identify duct work and EMT, it didn't miss a single electrical wire. But again, if you hit a PEX line, that's gonna be a problem. It did see the larger one and a half inch and the one and a quarter inch PVC over there. So that's good. Would I buy this? Yes, I would. One of the things that also makes this exceptional is I showed it a little bit when I was tracing a wire up the wall. When you find wires, you can literally run this along. Now, if the wire turns horizontal, you have to turn the wallabot horizontal to trace it. But you can literally track wires through your entire wall with this and see exactly where they go, where they terminate, where it turns, where it's connected to studs, where it goes into junction boxes inside the wall. That's huge, especially if you're trying to trace down a wire and flag it up in the attic so that you know where that penetration goes through so you can track down the correct wire up there. That's huge. So for me, yes, I think the Wallabot is an incredible piece of technology. The one, the only thing that it failed to do here in this shop was find that one piece of half inch PEX. So thank you to the good people at Wallabot. This is an incredible product. Again, the story behind it sells it even more so for me. Check out Wallabot.